we did write an ALS Untangled review of cannabis as an ALS treatment. It's available on our ALS Untangled website under completed reviews. It is a few years old now, but let me just summarize what that review said, and then we'll talk about what's happened since. So it's, it's pretty clear that you know, there's some potential usefulness in managing ALS symptoms. For example, I've heard lots and lots of patients tell me that cannabis helps their pain, it helps their cramps, it helps their insomnia, their drooling, their appetite, and their anxiety. But we were trying to focus that review on whether cannabis might be useful to slow the progression of ALS. And so as you probably know, we, we review alternative and off-label therapies in ALS Untangled across five different categories mechanisms, preclinical models, case reports, trials, and risks. And we always assign a letter grade in each one of those categories that ranges from A, which is really good, to F, which is bad. And so I'll just sort of summarize what we learned about, about cannabis. It, it has some plausible mechanisms. You know, there's cannabinoid receptors on cells in the immune system, as well as cells in the brain and spine. And it looks like uh, cannabis products might be able to modulate neuroinflammation and maybe get in the way of uh, what's something called excitotoxicity. And so those are very plausible mechanisms for treating ALS. We gave it a mechanisms grade of C. Cannabis products have been put into preclinical models. So there's experiments that were done in the SOD1 mouse model with um, agonists of the uh, CB2 cannabis receptor with a synthetic cannabinoid called WIN55, and even with a THC analog. And all of these things seem to slow progression in those preclinical models. So again, we gave it a preclinical grade of C. In terms of cases, we've, we found and continue to find lots of patients on the internet who say that they're taking cannabis and they're reporting benefits, not just in symptoms, but also in you know, measures of muscle strength, like for example, swallowing. Unfortunately, I, I've not ever seen any of these patients and I don't have their records. And so when we can't validate someone's diagnosis and reported improvements, we give a cases grade of D. So that's what that got. There actually were a couple of small trials of, of cannabis products as of 2012. One was of a product called THC. And another one was of a product called dronabinol. Now, both of those trials were very small, but neither showed really any benefits. And so we gave cannabis a trials grade of F. And then finally, we have the risks category. And here, what we said is still true. There never really has been a systematic assessment of adverse events in a large number of people with ALS. So we have to be a little careful until things are actually given to large numbers of people with ALS. We never know for sure what the side effects are going to be. But if you look across all studies, cannabis can have lots of side effects. It can cause dry mouth. It can cause clumsiness. It can cause dizziness. It can cause a sore throat. It can cause breathing problems. Since that ALS Untangled review, I'm happy to say that there now are two clinical trials that are underway in people with ALS that will be much larger much better designed and will use more promising products than those previous trials. So one is now open in Australia and one is open at the Montreal Neurological Institute. So I'm watching those trials carefully to see if there's any benefit from those particular products. Cannabis de grado médico. Acceso vía el sistema de salud. La información que existe es plural e irregular, hasta que mi médico me recomendó Anchor Biosciences y su producto Ameliorat. El laboratorio, con base en Colorado, Estados Unidos, trabaja en la democratización para el acceso de un producto seguro, estable, concentrado y que requerirá seguimientos de un profesional. Trabajan cultivos de cepas específicas de cannabis sativa L y complejos procesos de industrialización y extracción, asegurando un producto superior, estabilidad de lotes y, lo más importante, apto para consumo humano. El producto es saborizado y sin gusto herbal, garantizando un mejor apego en usuarios pediátricos. Obtenerlo es muy simple. El producto se distribuye por droguerías, farmacias y al paciente. 
siempre bajo estricto seguimiento y control médico. El equipo local se encargará de dar soporte documental y de trámites junto a su médico prescriptor. El producto se encuentra en el sistema de salud local y solo se distribuye por los canales habilitados bajo estricto control farmacéutico. Droguería Farmacia Beneficiario Final. Es aprobado por el ente regulador e ingresado de manera 100% legal al país, garantizando trazabilidad, troquel institucional, certificado de análisis en cada unidad, prospecto, frasco gotero dosificador, cierre child proof. Para más información, consulte siempre a su médico o un representante.